and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Hallie. It's been a little bit since I made a video and I apologize for that. I've just been kind of adjusting to staying home with my baby, taking care of her and things of that nature. But about a week ago, I asked on my Instagram, which I'll put on the screen here for you guys. I asked tons of questions about my YouTube channel on my Instagram so that you guys can be super involved with my channel. But I did go and ask if you guys had any questions for me, like motherhood questions, labor questions, career questions. I'm going to answer those questions for you guys today. I went ahead and saved them when I posted the Q&A. That way I didn't lose them. So we're just going to get right into it. Okay. The first question I got was, what is my biggest struggle with motherhood right now? And I think that is adjusting to staying home every single day. So if you guys are new here, before I had Magnolia, I was going to school at Paul Mitchell to become a barber. And so every single day I was waking up, doing my hair, doing my makeup, going to school for eight hours a day, coming home, doing stuff with Kyle. And when I had her, I am home 24 seven, like every single day I am home with her, taking care of her, which is so fine and I am so grateful. I have a boyfriend that provides for both of us so that I can be the one to take care of her so that I don't have to hire a babysitter or take her to daycare or anything. So I think the biggest struggle is just staying home, finding ways to like spend my time because she does sleep a lot as a newborn, but she also eats all the time. You know, I change her diapers, give her baths, stuff like that not being super busy is the biggest struggle for me right now. The next question is, what is a misconception people have about young moms? For me personally, it was people assuming that I was going to go back to school as soon as my six week maternity leave was up or whatever, because that's when a lot of people go back to work or school or whatever. And I think that they just expect you to kind of pick up where you left off. And in my case, that's not true. I'm taking a break from school at the moment to stay home and be a mom. And so when people ask me about school, it almost makes me a little bit mad because they just assume that I'm just gonna go back to how things were, which I understand because I was going to school. I was very close to finishing school. So I understand like why they would think I was gonna go back right away. But I did make a post on my Facebook, I'll put it up here so you guys can see it, how I was just telling everybody that I'm gonna go back to school when the time is right, and right now is not that time, and I'm just gonna stay home with my baby. But for me, a misconception was that um, I was going to stay career oriented, but I am career oriented, but right now my career is being a stay at home mom, and school will always be there, but she's not always going to be a baby. So for right now, my job is being Magnolia's mom. All right, the next question I got was, did I want to have a boy or a girl? So I always thought I was gonna have a boy because when I was younger, every single time I did the pencil test, it told me that I was going to have boys, all boys, never a girl. And so when I was younger, I was just like, okay, I'm gonna be a boy mom, that's what's gonna be, like I'm not gonna have any girls. Which, and so like, it was kind of funny. It's almost like I took that as facts. I took that pencil test as facts and I was like, okay, I'm never gonna have a girl. It's whatever. And I was convinced that I was having a boy literally until she came out of me. Even when we did our 20 week anatomy scan and they told us it was a girl, I was like, oh, well, there's still a chance it could be a boy. And it's not that I wasn't happy with a girl. I'm very excited she's a girl because I can do her hair, do her nails, we can go shopping. Like I am so excited to have a girl. I was just worried that they told me it was a girl and it was actually a boy because of the stupid pencil test. And I was just convinced she was gonna be a boy. However, I did have a dream about her when I was probably like 10 or 15 weeks pregnant. And I literally had a dream and she looks almost exactly how I dreamed her. And that was before I knew she was a girl. And so I think that's kind of cool that like I internally knew she was a girl before I actually knew. But yeah, I would have been happy with a boy or a girl because every baby is a blessing no matter what. But I really did think she was a boy. I did. But I'm really happy she's a girl because she's my little bestie. The next question is, what would life be like if I had not gotten pregnant? So I would probably still be in school for barbering because when everything happened in the world, my school did close and then my school went online and I would not have went to school online 
pregnant or not, I would not do a trade school online. That's just not how I am. So I probably would have went back the beginning of August to school if I wouldn't have been pregnant. Not a lot would probably be different because instead of going back to school, I have a baby, but like I still plan to go back to school one day and my hours at school are good for forever. And so I can go back at any time, which is really good to know that I won't lose any of the progress I made. So yeah, I think the only thing that pregnancy did was now I have a baby. I think that the rest of my life is going the way it would have. The next question I got was, do I want more babies? How many and when? <laughs> so I have said multiple times on this channel that I do not want to have any more kids. Um, honestly, I will probably have at least one more just so that Magnolia has a sibling. Kyla and I both grew up with siblings. And so, um, like we want her to have like a brother or sister. So probably one more, just one, because I hated being pregnant. I hated everything about it. I was very blessed the whole time and grateful that I was able to get pregnant and have a baby, but I hated, hated, hated being pregnant. So probably only one more. The next part of this question is, um, when do we want to have more kids? I want my kids close in age and so does Kyle. So probably like two years apart or something like that just so that they're close enough in age that they can play and you know do stuff together things like that i have four siblings and we're all pretty close in age i liked growing up with siblings close to my age and so i would like for her to be able to experience that too but there will probably only be like one other baby just because i don't want to be pregnant again <laughs> this one asked me if i wasn't going to hair school what would i be doing so i really thought about it before I went to hair school, like that is what I want to be doing. But the thing that I almost did instead of hair school was, I thought about going to school to be like a florist or like learn about flowers. And what I would have done with that is I would have wanted to have like a flower farm. And if you guys don't know what that is, I'll put some Pinterest pictures up here. Basically what I thought about doing was having like a bunch of land and just planting flowers for every season. Um, letting people like rent out the space for pictures, um, having a gazebo in the back if they wanted to have a wedding there or just anything like that. If they paid like money, they could come and pick like their own like bouquets and stuff if they wanted to and have a flower farm more as like a touristy uh, event type of space and not like a typical florist that does flowers for um, like Valentine's Day and weddings and funerals and that kind of thing. I wanted it to be more like people came to visit my farm, not like I took my farm to other people. I really, really did think about doing that. And I have thought about doing that like later on, like the second half of my life, like if I retire from hair or something, I think that that would be a really cool thing to do. I love flowers. Obviously my child is named after a flower. I just think that they're beautiful. And I also really love photography. And so if I could create something where people could come and create things themselves, I think that would be really cool. But that was another career that I thought about doing besides hair. I'm a very creative person. I never want a desk job or anything like that. I have to be able to be innovative and use my imagination and things like that. I could never ever just sit and look at our computer or anything like that. Those are all the questions I have for today. If you guys have more questions for me, you can um, drop them in the comments down below if you want to, or you can message me on Instagram. I can do more Q and A's if you guys want. It was one of the videos that was requested a bunch of times when I asked on my Instagram. I really like doing these cause you know, you can kind of touch on a lot of topics you don't normally talk about. But yeah, I'm getting back into making videos. Uh, this past two week break is the longest break I've taken from YouTube since I started in January. So I felt really weird about taking a break, but I needed to just to spend time with my baby, get some stuff around the house done and just kind of take like a mental health break. So that's what I did. 
but I'm getting back on a schedule. After I film this video, I plan on filming um, another video for this week also. I'm going to do fall inspired baby names. Everybody on my channel loves when I do mommy or baby content and my baby name videos are actually some of my most watched videos. So I'm gonna do a fall inspired baby name video for you guys because fall is coming right up. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm so close to 200 subscribers and it would really mean a lot if I could get to that goal. I'm trying to grow my channel and just connect with as many people out there as I can. All right guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.